Oh, what? I'm not in my kitchen for once? That's right, I just finished up at the gym, had an amazing workout with my friend Dalton, and I decided to film a little bit today because I'm doing the Lord's workout here. And by that, I mean the Lord of Gains, Chris Bum said, and I'm gonna be talking about macros today with my friend Dalton. So like most of us right now, he's starting his summer cut and he needs to know what his macros are gonna be and how to eat. So I told him I'd come over, help him out, set up his macros, and I thought it'd be informative for you guys to follow along with me and I think it'll help you set up your macros for your summer cut as well. And that's gonna be the game plan for today's video. If you could do me a huge favor, do this channel a huge favor, press that thumbs up button. Can you press it twice? Don't press it twice, because that'd unlike it. Press it three times, five times, seven times, nine times, 11 times. Actually, 11 times is enough, that's fine. And if you're new to the channel, sub to the channel because I got content coming flowing out of my veins like the sweat that whenever I work out. So, sub to the channel, like the video, let's go help Dalton with his macros. Hello. Hello. Are we ready to get some macronutrients? <laughs> what do I have for dinner here, doll? Some skews, just post jam with a shake. Two Yo, four, did you see that from possibly my Costco video? Maybe. All right, so chilling here with Dalton, and we're gonna be going over exactly what the macronutrients are real quickly. So you have your proteins, your carbs, your fats. Your proteins and your carbs have four calories per gram, and your fats have nine calories per gram. Okay, basics done. Uh, what I like to use whenever I'm figuring out what my calorie goal should be is something called calculator.net that has a calorie calculator in it. Let's go ahead and put all of your credentials in. So, your age? 23. Uh, all right, height, what are you? Don't say 6'4", because I know five. you're not. Okay. 5'11". Weight right now, what's your current weight? 190. All right, 190. And so, what's the goal here? Are you trying to like... Get to like 180 or are you trying to I'm stay? I'm trying to cut down 180, 185. Okay. All right. Over what? Eight, eight, 12 weeks pretty much? Yeah, eight weeks. Okay. So I'm going to go with, for activity level, little or no exercise because I want to find out what his base is. I don't want to know his basal metabolic rate because that's going to be a little too low to base the overall calories off of. So that's why I'm going with little or no exercise. Okay, so if you wanted to maintain, you would be at, it says 2,200 calories. What do you, do you think that that's about right for yeah. what you eat? Okay. So if we want to do a cutting diet, we kind of want to cut that. I would probably start with 250 for your first like two weeks. Cut, cut your calories down by 250. So you want to be around 2,000. Okay. And that should be your starting weight. Now, after you stop losing weight, you should probably aim to lose anywhere between a half a pound to a pound every week or so. Okay, right. and I mean, you want to lose roughly 10 pounds, so that makes it, that makes sense. Okay, so for you guys, I'm going to put everything up on the screen. For me here, myself, in this body, I'm gonna be writing everything down on paper. Cutting goal is gonna be 2,000 calories, correct? Okay. So the first macronutrient we, we want to break down is your grams of protein. So a very simple way of looking at it is you want to have one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So in your case, you're 190. I would shoot to have anywhere from 180 to 190 grams of protein per day. The lower you make your protein, the more carbs and fats you can have. Well, let's do 180 then. All right, so we're gonna do protein at 180 grams. So just like you wanna have your protein at right around one gram per pound of body weight, for fats, you wanna have your grams of fat around 0.3 to 0.4 grams per pound of body weight. So if we do a little quick math here, Three hours later. All right, so when you do the quick math, which just took me like literally five minutes to figure <laughs> this out, uh, we come out with a range of anywhere between 57 grams to 76 grams of fats. So the lower you have your fats, the higher your carbs will be, and you can kind of play with it as you want. But where do you want to start out? Somewhere in the middle or, or what? Yeah. So you want to say 60, maybe like 65, 65 grams of fat? Okay, so we'll just go with 65 grams. All right, now to figure out the carbs, we have to do a little more quick math. And we're going to do our protein, which is 180 grams times four, which is the calories per gram of protein. And we're gonna do 65 grams times nine, which is the calories associated with a gram of fat. And that comes out to, all right, so now we're gonna do 585 plus 720, 1300 pretty much. And that's gonna be minus off of the 2000. Say hello to Randy in the background. What's up guys? <laughs> so you're just talking all of yourself. No, I fucking wish. I do that enough by myself. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so for your carbs, you get a whopping 700 calories of carbs. You get 175 grams of carbs. And just like that, within a moment's notice, we have your macro breakdown. It's going to be 100 grams, or I'm sorry, it's going to be 180 grams <laughs> of protein, 
65 grams of fat and 175 grams of carbs. Boom. Now, do you have to be perfect about this all the time? Absolutely not. As long as you're hitting close. Honestly, I just like hitting my protein goal and I play with my fats and carbs accordingly. All right, so in Dalton's scenario, he is someone who doesn't like to follow uh, if it fits your macros diet, which is just eating whatever you want and tracking your macros. He would rather figure out a meal plan to literally eat the same thing every day like a dog and then... <laughs> sorry, sorry. He would rather have his food set out for him like a little puppy, come and eat it every single day and go off of that. That way he doesn't have to worry about tracking macros in his phone every day. Personal preference, whichever one you wanna do. But now we're gonna set up a typical day of eating for Dalton. Okay, so I just got with Dalton and this is what he's eating currently right now. Okay, so for breakfast he's having a Fit Crunch bar, Oikos triple zero with one serving of Blue Diamond almonds. For lunch or early lunch, he's having six ounces of rotisserie chicken, one minute rice and some mixed veg. He then has a peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with some Arnold multigrain, normal peanut butter and jelly. Has this same meal again around, I don't know, 3.34. Once he goes to the gym, he comes home and has one avocado mash with two chicken skewers and finishes off with a protein shake. Um, Sorry. Dude, do I, do I say that wrong too? That avocado? All right, so I'm scrolling through everything that he eats in my fitness pal right now. Total calories come out to 2,400 just about, which is actually pretty freaking good. And when we pop into the macros, they're actually very, very good as well. 217 grams of carbs, 82 grams of fat, and 200 grams of protein. Those are really, really good macros. Now, the only thing that I would suggest is he maybe needs to cut about 200 calories off of this, 200 to 400 calories off of this, and that's an easy, easy fix. So what I suggested Dalton to do is replace his peanut butter and jelly here with honestly probably a more voluminous meal to begin with, and he would use two of the Quaker Oats plain salted rice cakes, and instead of using peanut butter, would use two servings of PB Fit right here and could still use the same jelly and be totally fine. Okay, so we make that simple change right there. And instead of being at 2,400 calories, we're almost exactly at 2,000 calories where it needs to be. And we pop into the macros, they're almost perfect. Like I said, it does not have to be ideal exactly what the grams say on the piece of paper, but this is pretty awesome. He's a little high on protein but everything else looks really good. 187 grams of carbs, 57 grams of fat, and 194 grams of protein. Is he gonna eat this exact same thing every single day? Yes. I guess so. <laughs> I personally don't like doing that, but for some people this works really well because he doesn't have to think about it at all. Are you ready to get I'm ready, Give me 10, give me 10. Woo! All right, so guys, that's exactly how Dalton set up his macros. You can feel free to do the exact same thing if you want, but at least you have the information in front of you to go ahead, set up your macros, and have an amazing summer cut. So, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, can you press the thumbs up button for me, please? And if you're new to the channel, sub. If you enjoy Dalton and his roommates, sub to the channel, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Peace.